Hey guys, what's up? It's Allie here. Today I thought I would do a tag haul for you guys. Um, I recently went to a couple stores and purchased a few things for my upcoming show this weekend and I thought I would share it with you guys um, because I love tag hauls and you guys do too. Um, so without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so the first place I went to was Calabasas Saddlery. Um, and I just picked up a few things there that I needed. Um, first of all, they gave me this nice reusable tote. Um, they always give you reusable totes when you go there, so I really like that. I think you have to spend a certain amount, but anyway, let's uh, dive right in. Let me get the first thing out. If I can find it in here. Okay, sorry about this. Ugh. So the first thing I got were these, um, another pair of gloves. Um, these are um, the Rokal Madrid gloves. Um, they are super cute. I just got them in black. Um, they're kind of looking a little navy on camera for some reason, but they're not. They're black. Um, I got these because... Um, I have a pair of black show gloves already, but I wanted a pair um, for summer for shows only, and these are going to be them. Um, but I really like, I really like them. I mean, it says like the Rokal Sport it has like this really pretty like patent like faux leather design. Um, it's super like breathable everywhere on the palm. On the top of the hands the palms are very um have like that nice like faux faux leather um they're like my favorite brand of gloves um they're pretty they're pretty pricey not gonna lie um they obviously are like 60 bucks but they're definitely worth it if you're looking for a pair of gloves to show or in in general just for riding and they are um touch screen oops, touch screen compatible um and yeah they're very nice gloves so i highly recommend them all right so to kind of go along with the tack haul it wouldn't be a tack haul without a saddle pad of course um this one is the Let's see the Ogilvy baby jump with the grip. Um, it's the navy raspberry and steel blue color, um, but it is a dressage pad and it's a baby pad. Um, I really love the Ogilvy pads. The Ogilvy pads, sorry. Um, they're just super cute um, and they're super nice. So it has like this. Um, steel blue trim along with like this raspberry trim as well and then it has the girth loop here and then it has like the little Ogilvy equestrian logo there and then it has the um, logo on the spine as well um, these are and then it's in this like really pretty like navy blue um, and I love, like, the, the bottom of the, the underside of the pads are nice because they're this really soft, like, felty material. And it just kept, helps kind of keep your saddle in place. Um, and they're just super, super nice and super comfortable. And it also has kind of, like, this high, like, wither profile as well, which I like. Um, so, yeah. Um, they are kind of pricey for pads. Like, I paid $60 for this one. Um, so there, it is kind of expensive for a saddle pad, but then again, people buy like the PS of Sweden's and, um, the Lemieux ones, but I don't know. I just get by with these and I like them as well, but yeah. And then the last thing I got from Calabasas Salary, uh, and my plan, sorry, my plan for this is to school in it Friday night. Um, at the horse show and um, the next item kind of goes with it. Um, the last item I got was a pair of Godos in full seat because I'm going to a dressage show. So 
I wanted to get a pair of like full seats to school in. These are super cute. They're my first pair of full seats from Godo. Um, they are so cute. I love like the um, the trim on the pockets here. It's got like this um, black and white piping on the pockets. And then it has um, like this uh, really grippy like silicone um, on the full seat. And then it has um, the sock bottom, which I love. Um, and then the back is super cute as well. Um, it has like the, the sticky silicone full seat. But then it also has this really cute like pattern here. And it doesn't have those fakey pockets like the, the knee patch ones do, which I loved. Um, and this one is the Godo Adina breach in sky blue. So yeah, very cute. And it's got like the little Godo logo and like the belt loops. It's just so cute and they fit super good. So I am very excited to try these out for schooling in at the show, but they're Godos. And I just, I love this blue. I know you can't see it on the outside, but I love the blue color on the inside too. Like it's so pretty. Um, so yeah, I can't wait to wear these Friday night. I know I can't show on them, but wouldn't that be super cool if you could like make this a whole little outfit? Um, I'd totally do that if I could, maybe like with like a little burgundy coat. That'd be cute. But I don't think you can do that in dressage, but correct me if I'm wrong. So that's what I got at Calabasas Saddlery. Now let's move on to the next. All right, so the last place I went to was Equus Now. It's a local store near my house. And I just kind of got a couple things from there. Um, let's see, it's the receipt. Let's see, the first thing I got was this spray bottle. It's just this um, big blaster sprayer by like, it's a professional horse sprayer. Um, I usually don't buy these. Um, but the reason I bought it is because my um, detangler, the cap, like the sprayer broke off. So I needed, I didn't really want to throw it out because it was like still very full. So um, I just have been storing it upstairs in my apartment, but um, I wanted to get a sprayer. So I picked this one up. All right, the next thing I got was this um, for the show, um, since the girl at the store recommended it for me. Just some Cowboy Magic Super Body Shine. Um, I wanted kind of like a spot treatment last minute. I mean, my horse is a dark bay, so he didn't really need like the green spot remover. He doesn't really have many white spots. He has like a white spot on his feet, but I'm not too concerned with that because I don't really think it's gonna make a difference, but um, I got this kind of like as a show sheen type product um, for like a shine, like a shine. Um, I already have a tangler, so I didn't really need that for that, but I got this for the shows um, for the summer. I don't really use like show sheen or anything like that. Um, so I figured I'd try this. I've never really used like a um, a shine product before, like I go in the ring. So I figured, figured I'd give it a try and, um, see how it goes. Um, and it wasn't super expensive either. So and they were having a promotion at the store, by the way. Um, everything I got at this, at Equus that weekend was 20% off, which was nice. So super exciting. The next thing I got was this, um, sorry, it's kind of awkward to hold, but it's just this Equistar um, Ellen dressage whip. Um, I needed a whip for the show ring um, and I didn't want to break the bank. She was trying to sell me one of the Fleck whips and I was like, 
Well, it looked nice. I'm like, you know what? I'm only going to be using this for shows. Like, I don't need anything fancy. And it's just schooling shows, to be honest, right now for me. So, still trying to decide if I actually want to do dressage full-time or not. So, I figured I'd just get this. But it's a big, um, it's whatever the legal length is for a dressage whip. I'm not sure. And in the, the end's kind of cheapy, but I tried to look past that because I just... I just needed it for shows, and it's just going to stay in the trailer um, for shows, so. Oh, I guess it's, duh. I guess it's 39 inches. I don't know, but it's legal, so that's all that matters. Um, and then the next thing I got, um, I was looking for um, some hoof polish. But um, the lady at the store recommended this instead. I guess she said that um, sometimes with hoof oil, like hoof polish, it like gets all sticky and the dirt sticks to it. And I was like, kind of don't want that. So I picked this up. It's by Ukulele, Ukulele, Equine. I'm sorry if I totally butchered that, but it's hoof quench, hoof support for horses. Um, it's for treatment and prevention of brittle and shelly hooves hard frogs and soles contracted and split heels um i'm actually not going to use this for what it's intended for i'm just going to use this for um like hoof oil to like kind of shine up his hooves before i go in the ring and plus it would have been hard for me to buy like a hoof polish for um all of his feet because one of his um one of his hooves is like white and the other three are black so um this will condition all of them for me um so yeah and um it wasn't super expensive it was only like 29 dollars um but i don't know i may use it after the show too but the main purpose is for the shows i do have um Caratex hoof hardener for his soles so i'm not going to use this for his soles my farrier told me like that Caratox is like the only thing to help with like of hardening so and his his feet in general are pretty decent so this will just be for horse shows um so yeah and then last thing in the bag that i got was this it's so cute let me put it together oh my gosh it is so hard to do things with one hand sometimes um it's this belt it's so cute um, I needed a new black belt, um, mine from like four years ago when I was showing actively more, doesn't fit anymore, so I needed a new just plain black belt. Um, I know in dressage, like, you can get away with kind of like bling, but I wanted to be conservative for the first go around to kind of see what I'm up against in my area. Um, so I got one of these Alani belts, it's the Alani Elastic Stirrup Belt, and I got it in the black and silver. And I love these belts because they are super comfortable to wear. Um, they are adjustable, so you, they're like one size fits all. So, you know, if you need to go up or down, like you can, and they're super nice material wise, they're super comfortable and they're super affordable too for a belt. Um, and sometimes I just don't like the stiffness of the leather belts. I just feel like so contrapped and confined and you know, I really, I have a couple of these belts already because my, my tech store sells them and this is like their new design and I'm just like obsessed with it. It's so pretty with the two stirrups together. Um, so I'm very excited to try it out this weekend at the show. All right. And the next thing I got, it's kind of, um, on the bigger side. Let me hold it up. It is this um, bridal bag, and it is by the brand um, Centaur. It's the Centaur bridal bag in the color black, um, and it's I guess windproof, waterproof, and bre it's breathable. Um, and yeah, but it's got like the little Centaur logo on it. It's got two handles. Um, it's got a place for like a name tag and it has like this double zipper as well. Um, take it out. 
out and open it up for you guys so you can see the inside. But it's super nice, it's so long. And there's like a lot of, um, there's like three bridle hooks in here. So you can fit like, you can't really see, but there's like three bridle hooks in here and it's like this Velcro. Um, but it's super nice, so like if you want to bring like a schooling bridle for like the day before the show and you want to bring like your show bridle or if you have like another horse or if you have three horses, honestly, you could fit three bridles in here and it's very giant. Um, I didn't really have a choice in picking this one out or the color because it was the only thing they had, so kind of had to go with it, but I'm actually kind of excited for it and, you know excited to see all that goes on so yeah and then last but not least is this is my most favorite thing of the purchase that i have is this bridal i'm so obsessed with it you guys like look at how pretty it is i love it it's like this black like crystal brow band um i was not and like this patent leather is so pretty I was not going to buy a bridal at the store, but with the 20% off, I was like, I have to buy it. So this is the um, Passier Apollo Dressage Bridal in the size full. And it's so cute. Like Passier makes really pretty bridles. Um, and it has like the really nice like leather reins. Like my reins I have now for my schooling bridal are like this like the typical like webbed reins and I don't like them too much and like the hardware is so pretty and the nose band's so cute but I'm just obsessed with like the crystals like the crystals is what I'm like so obsessed with I got the black ones they did have like a clear and like a rose gold color but I was like you know what like I have a gelding and I probably shouldn't get like rose gold for him even though I really wanted it and it was cheaper than this bridal was, but I did get 20% off of this, and that's is these usually never go on sale, so I was really excited for this. And I think my plan is to put um, this blue metal bit on it, and that'll be like his show setup. Um, I've had this bit for a while, and I just haven't used it, so I think it's gonna get used for the first time this weekend. So I'm pretty excited about that. So yeah, I'm really excited for this weekend. I'm really excited for the horse show coming up. Um, let me know if you guys wanna see like a show, show prep vlog or how I pack for a horse show or anything like that. Let me know in the comments down below um, and make sure to like and subscribe and share this video with anyone and see you guys next time.